on Instagram, Voluntary Individualism asks, Hello, Adam Kogesh, just a question. Are you planning to end the federal government completely in one day? Wouldn't it be more pragmatic to dissolve it over time as a long-term goal? I will be supporting your campaign, but I'll first try to find out your main goals. Well, the ultimate goal is to dissolve, not abolish, not overthrow, although I guess you could call it overthrow, I don't want to object to that, the entire federal government of the United States. The most important part of this happens on day one. With the signing of the executive order in which I resign, we also declare the federal government to be of no authority whatsoever and bankrupt. And it goes into a bankruptcy proceeding of a liquidation. So we are not going to really end it on day one, uh, but we are going to end its immorality and its violence and its destructiveness on day one. There is no reason to allow that to perpetuate at all. Now, to answer your question a little more thoroughly in practical policy terms, yes, this is going to be a gradual process of the dissolution. Now, day one, no authority, bankrupt, no federal laws are enforced, it's done. That's the most important part. Now, how we deal with the actual physical realities, the liquidation, that is a significantly long-term project. So don't kid yourself. I'm not trying to do all of this in one day. But with most of the useless federal agencies, IRS, well, that's not useless. Uh, it's useful to the beneficiaries of the theft that is taxation, obviously. IRS, DEA, um, Department of Energy, Commerce, Education, you know, these, these administrative agencies that, that, that don't really do anything except pass down mandates and control people through the you know, enforcement threat of, of, of government. Sure, 95% uh, of their personnel go home day one, they get a severance package, We'll see what we can do, no promises. They get two months notice. Who gets two months notice? That's a great luxury. They'll have plenty of time. In fact, I, that might be the severance package, is uh, you get fired right away on day one, but you don't have to do anything starting on uh, you know November, whatever it is, 2020, when the American people decide that they're not gonna support the existence of your jobs any longer. So. There's gonna be a skeleton crew for each agency. As I said, 95%, at least 5% to handle the records and the physical property. The records have to be handled in a responsible way and will be handed over to an agency, uh, possibly the Library of Congress, that would handle releasing all of those records on the internet as soon as possible, with the one caveat that we have to redact personal private information <clears throat> that cannot be made public, or at least should not. Then you've got some of the bigger agencies where there are much more complex resources to handle that need to be parted out, some of which should be preserved as distinct institutions. You've got the United States military where we have to bring the troops home from abroad. We have to separate the offensive weapon, weaponry uh, and resources from the defensive weaponry. Everything that's offensive that has no legitimate defensive purpose gets liquidated uh, after being de-weaponized. The legitimate defensive resources of the United States military will be a portion among the states, and that is a long process. It will probably take several years. Then you have agencies that are gonna get spun off, like the VA. What do we do with the VA? Now, as a libertarian, I don't have a problem with the existence of a department that exists to help people, to provide legitimate services, as the VA does. My problem with it is that it is funded by taxation which is theft. So we end that, we spin it off, give it a small endowment as we're liquidating the federal government and give every single veteran in America one ownership voting share so that they control the VA on a blockchain. You end the drug war and give the VA to the veterans, I guarantee you're not gonna have 20 veterans committing suicide every single day. That ends. So. Last one, Social Security. 
we are going to have more than enough funds available to keep Social Security solvent for many decades. And there's going to be some balance after we have funded Social Security sufficiently with enough time to provide the states and individuals the opportunity to create better solutions for their retirement than that. We may also be funding Medicare, Medicaid, S-CHIP if the funds are available. And those institutions will have to be spun off properly as private institutions, no longer funded by taxation, but owned and controlled directly by the American people. So voluntary individualism, I hope that answers your question and shows that this is not just some knee jerk, uh, I don't like the government, so let's get rid of it. No, this is a very practical set of policies that gives us the first big step in the right direction towards freedom, towards decentralizing government power, localizing it all the way to the community and the individual. Thank you to YouTube for hosting this video and for being an essential part of human progress by making video hosting available worldwide to everyone on the internet. However, the next phase in human progress is here with Steemit.com and their video hosting alternative blockchain-based solutions, including DTube. And you can find that through Steemit.com as well as my own page there, at Adam Kokesh. This is a decentralized blockchain-based social media network that pays you fairly for your content. Already, I'm regularly making more there with a single post than I do from an entire month on YouTube. So please join us on the next frontier of the information revolution at steamit.com. And if you want help getting a leg up there, I'm happy to re-steam your posts and make sure that no one is starting from scratch. Just email me one of your favorite posts at adam at and we'll share it on my feed.